Okay, so I'm back with my experiment here, my road to 90% acceptance rate. The only thing that's behind this is that I just want to see how long it will take me to get up to the acceptance rate. I've explained before that I don't have to do this. Um, ride share for me is actually, um, it's a hobby, if anything, that happens to pay. <laughs> So sometimes I drive a lot and sometimes I drive very little, which you'll see in the upcoming week. So this is week two. I think we got some uh, screens there. This was the first trip on a Monday morning. This was, I believe, the 10th, right? Uh, let's see. Yep, this was the, or no, the 11th, September 11th. Um, really short trip that I took, and I think it was the only trip that I took that morning. I picked the person up, took them to where they were going, and then headed into the office. So now this trip here is from the evening of the 11th. I got home and I decided to do some trips in the evening, not something I normally do. Uh, I'm trying to remember the circumstances under which I picked up this particular trip, but I don't I don't recall. Either way, 4.6 miles for six dollars and twenty four cents for eleven minutes. Same evening, a much shorter trip this time, ten dollars and forty six cents for three point three miles. You can see there that the upfront fare was seven dollars and forty six cents, so I made an additional three dollars. Uh, uh, a tip, there was a $1 surge. Nine sixty seven for this trip, another one out to Greenfield Center. This one, you know, normally I'm not taking this trip, <laughs> right? But again, we're trying to get the acceptance rate up. No tip on this. Uh, very disappointing. You can see the customer paid $20, and I got half of it. A five-mile trip for nine ninety seven. so... Um, two dollars a mile, not bad as far as what uh, hourly earnings would be if you got three of these in a row. So pretty good there. Um, no tip left by the passenger on this one, who paid eighteen dollars and ninety one cents. This is the following day. Uh, in the morning, I decided to go out before. So Tuesday mornings, I don't go into the office. So I went out and grabbed this trip. 2.26 miles, probably a little bit too long for these earnings. Um, no tip. Most people who give you who you give rides to in the morning don't typically tip. Same situation. This upfront fare was 840. I got paid 1140 because of a tip. I took this person all the way down to Boston Spa, and if I recall, I did not get anything back. Uh. -oh. Well, I got a little short three miler for six forty seven and they gave me a dollar tip. Um, next we move on to Wednesday. A, this is another kind of morning situation. Uh, this was fourteen dollars and sixty one cents for six miles. There was a four dollar surge and there was no no tip. Let's see. The passenger ended up paying thirty dollars on this. So Again, we're looking at around 50% of what I'm getting. Same morning, 538 for 3.3 miles. And this one took me um, pretty much right to uh, my office for the most part. And that was it for that for Wednesday morning. Thursday morning, I did this one for... $8.80, 5.4 miles, and no tip. Customer paid $20 for this one, so I didn't even get 50% of that. Uh, upfront fare on this one was $6.70. I paid 11, was paid eleven seventy. dollars Same morning, um, so I got a trip back from where I was going, which is good. And they tipped me five bucks, which is really nice. So the customer paid $14.91 plus tipped me. 
I think this was a woman who was going to work at grocery store. Another one from Thursday morning, um, sh short distance, $4.35 for 1.5 miles. Again, not normally something I would take, but basically going to where I work. Um, so why not take it and earn a little money? No tip on this one. Um, at about 50%, a little over 50% on that one. The final one here was a cancellation. I don't recall if I canceled it or if the passenger canceled it. But either way, that was um, that was a cancellation. So at the end of week two, I had a 56% acceptance rate and my cancellation rate had gone down to 10%. That's week two. Week three is coming up here pretty soon, and you'll see how things kind of change <laughs> uh, with the number of rides that I take. So uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for following along on this experiment. I'm John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.